How's it going everyone? I'm Slobring, ready to see another video. This time we are playing Gangplank in the top lane, so if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next, subscribe, and yeah. So this is part of the three hours to diamond, this is the very beginning, we are playing in silver at the moment. And the biggest problem that I see with silver players is that they don't know anything about the game, or matchups, or macro. So hopefully I can teach you guys some of those things that you can get from silver to gold and even beyond, so... Again, if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more content like this, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you want next, subscribe, and yeah, first things first, I'm going to leave a ward because I'm playing in silver, people do a lot of weird things. Sometimes they like to gank you like level 2. So, we're going good. I always take ignite into any ignite matchup, whether it's in bronze or it's in challenger, in this case it's silver, but I still always take ignite whenever the opponent takes ignite. I'm waiting for Timo to show right now. I'm walking in front of my minion wave. The, my minions are getting low. What does that mean? He wants to get these minions. So he's going to walk up. Boom. Q. Auto. Walk backwards. Good trade. He's going to walk up to me again soon. Q. He wants the minion. How do I know I can land a Q? He wants the minion. He wanted that minion too? Made sure I ignite him because my Q wasn't going to kill him there. What am I going to do now? I'm really ahead, but there's no, there's not much I can do right now, so I'm going to buy my Sheen. I can't buy Sheen yet. I'm going to need a little bit more gold. After this minion. Now the wave, what's going to happen? It's going to slow push towards me. Emo flashed. We're chilling right now. We can buy Sheen, and then we could just continue farming him. Yeah, so pretty much, now that I've got everything that I need, uh, my build for this game is looking like Hydra, because they don't have shields, they don't have healing, so I don't go Kempunk Serpents this game. But, 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 they do have very squishy targets. And I want to snowball and carry the game, so I'm going to go Hydra this game. Now, when this Teemo walks up for this minion... Ooh, I could have gotten the Q there. Now I'm going to hold the wave in this spot, and he's going to have a really tough time coming closer to the... Yep. Hey, you, you want to come towards me? You're going to have to eat a Q, Timo. I'm letting him know. Hey, you want some of these minions? You're going to have to get, you're going to have to get through me. Straight up. Orange, because my uh, mana is higher than my health bar. Perfect. Timo can't play the game right now. He's trying to play safe. He's trying to think in his head, okay, you know what? Maybe if I just don't die, maybe then if I don't die, my team can carry me. Hey, listen, I'm going to create a, a gap so big, it doesn't even seem fair. And why? Because I'm playing smart. Have you seen me land a nasty combo? No. I've been playing pretty normal. This is how you guys can carry all of your games. Climb to the next rank. You don't have to land crazy combos. You don't have to do some one part triple barrel backwards flash one shot synapse play. No, play smart. Hit. Do you D her? Beautiful. Now I see Timo here. And I kill him too. How do I know I can kill him? Because he's too low health. I look bot lane. They're looking pretty low on health. I'm going to ult early. But I don't think I actually get that kill. Because she actually leveled up. Kind of unlucky. Now here I can probably recall. But I think I'd rather just stay in lane. No big deal. There we go. Take a reset now and start building towards my Triforce because like I said, I'm looking to carry. I'm not looking to participate. Alright, now that we're back in lane, mid lane gets a nice solo kill. Perfect. They're taught now I'm carrying not only through solo killing top by bringing jungle pressure top lane, I'm also carrying. What's that mean? Udir wants to gank one of his three lanes. His top laner is struggling. You know what's going through his mind? 
damn. I need to find a way to get my team back in the game. Let me gank this gangplank. So what does that mean? It means he's not ganking his bot lane. He's not ganking mid lane. More time into me means that my team can breathe easier. Now, they still die 2v2, which kind of sucks. But it overall just makes the game way easier for everyone else on your team when you're getting camped. And not only are you getting camped, but because you're playing smart, you can also carry. So that's very important to note. I'm carrying, it's like the Hishinchen way of winning League, but smarter. Because Hishinchen, the way he plays League, he always brings jungle pressure top lane, right? And he dies, right? You'll see him go 0 and 13, and it's like a good game for him. Yep. But he, he doesn't he doesn't usually do that, uh, he doesn't usually do that well in some of his games because he gets camped a lot. So how do you combat that? By playing smart with wave manipulation, you can do the same thing that he does without dying, getting kills, and having pressure in the game. Right now I'm 4 and 0, I can still wrap up this game clean. Now I'm slow pushing into Teemo because he's so far behind he can't recover. So because I know he can't recover, I'm just going to keep bullying him. That's the goal. I want to kill him one more time. Right now, he's breathing a little bit too much, you know? I feel like Teemo might be here. After this wave, I'll probably recall. Alright, now that we're back in lane, what I want to say is this video is not meant to show me destroying silvers, alright? I actually don't like smurfing. I prefer playing in challenger versus real players and stomping them. This video is meant for you guys. I want to show you guys how you can carry out of your rank. You might be saying, yeah, but I can't, you're, you're only winning because you're a challenger. No, I'm not doing anything crazy out of the ordinary. What you, the mindset that you guys should be holding right now is that, wow, Solar's not even doing that crazy. He's just playing like what he exactly what he says every video. You know? It's not something that's out of your reach. I'm not doing crazy mechanics. I'm just playing the game properly. The mechanics and stuff can come later if I really want to, but that's not why I'm here. Flashes out, no big deal. I'll let him live. I'm gonna save my ulti for bot lane if I can. I see Nocturne ult bot lane, I ult bot lane. Ooh. I don't know if they get those kills. Oh, he misses. That's unfortunate. My team is really mad right now, so what do I do now? Gotta back out now. It was a good little kill though that I got on him. Cheeky kill. I think I saw Zed around here. <clears throat> now that I won top lane, I need to impact my other lanes. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to take Rift Herald. Even if my jungler wasn't here, I would do it to low. I'm going to say, let me take, please. I'm going to be very nice about it. I don't need to be an asshole. Please just let me take it. Okay. Now I'm going to take a quick little reset, and then I'm going to go mid lane and unleash the Herald. I my hate fire. <laughs> now, I did I KS that kill? Yeah, I kind of did. Good job. That 
Now we've got to be careful because they could kill us. Well, Nocturne did not ult anyone, so I can't actually help him. But you see that? I won top lane, I went mid lane, and I won mid lane. I got Yasuo, I believe, two kills in that one fight, and I got all five plates for him. Really huge. Now I'm going to go back top lane because the way there's a big wave. Whenever there's a big wave, you want to rotate back, right? There's no point in missing a big wave. No point. Push one wave. Now I'm going to reset. I'm going to reset. I'm going to buy my Hydra. I'm going to build towards a Sterax gauge now because all they have is burst. And then I'm going to run bot lane. There we go. Now we're winning bot lane. I got top tower, I got mid tower, now it's time for bot tower. Again, nothing crazy. I'm just making smart decisions. I won top, one mid, now I'm winning bot lane. Taking this guy's jungle. Uh, we can win this. Did we win it? I mean, we got one kill. It's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, shoot. Oh shoot, oh shoot, leave me alone, please. Oh mama. No, I didn't orange. If I orange, I kill them all. Uh, Yasuo is inting a little bit. I'm not gonna ult that guy because he's not worth any gold. The goal is to Baron at 20 minutes, and then we can end the game, hopefully, after. Oof. Well, MF flashed while she was invisible, plus I have my team here, so they all die. Alright, I'm gonna take this Herald, we're gonna end cleanly now. We're gonna get Herald, and then we're gonna Baron, and then we're gonna Herald mid with Baron, and we're gonna end the game. How do I know to do this? I'm just doing the objectives that are up. Beautiful. We might actually be able to end here. End, 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 end. Did you well play the surrender? How's it going everyone? I'm celebrating with you guys today. Another video. This time we are... Oh, Lord, what is happening here? Alright, we're chilling. Alright. <laughs> Ow. How's it going everyone? I'm celebrating with you guys today. Another video. This time we are playing... Versus Darius, and this was part two of the um, three hour to diamond, as you guys can see. We are playing in silver, and I'm going to show you guys how we can uh, win.
So our Leeson says our team comp is shit because they have Rengar and Helios. Now we're playing versus a Darius top lane, which is something cheesy. Like I said in the previous video, whenever you're against something cheesy, you always take Ignite. You don't take TP. You don't play the. You don't play at a deficit. You 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 become the bully. Now look at their team. They have healing and they have shields. I'm going to be going Triforce, Kempunk, Serpents, and I'm going to show you guys how we can one v nine games. Everything I'm going to show you guys in this video will not be something crazy. From Solar Baka, crazy 1v9 montage. No, this is something that you can replicate yourself. And you should take that attitude seriously. That everything that I do, you can do as well. First things first, I see him trying to contest the wave. I'm going Q for Q. I don't know if he started Q yet. So I'm not trying to get in range. But if I do walk in range... Oh, he started W, so I can actually just free poke him. Walk back, walk forward. Now that my passive is up, I can actually probably kill him. Bye, Mr. Darius. Simple as that. I recognize that I can win it, and I'll just stay in lane now. I'm lagging really hard for some reason. Everything is teleporting on my screen, and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, that's happening. Their tears will salt the ocean. But yeah, so many people don't know Gangplank's damage, so you actually have an upper hand of choosing a champion like Gangplank to play. You just have to remember to play smart. Do not throw your lead for no reason. Now versus a Shaco. Shaco can do a variety of things actually. Um, I'm always thinking about what the enemy jungler could potentially do. I could be getting ganked at any moment. Right, I thought he was going to go for that cannon there. Boom. Boom. Auto. Auto. Q. What can he do now? He tried to go for a bad trade and I ended up punishing him. Auto. Auto. Dead. Like that. Just like that, and he already used his ghost as well. Again, I'm not. Am I playing? Am I doing something crazy? No. It, does it look like Darius is trolling? Yes. But how come so many people who watch this video, so many people who I coach, can come across players like this all the time, but they never, they never take advantage of it. You know, you can say this guy's trolling all you want, but if you don't know how to play when people are trolling like this, and you just end up passing up on so many solo kills because you want to farm, you're playing wrong. You're, play you're setting yourself up to have a very mediocre lane and potentially lose the game because you're not trying to snowball. You're playing normal and reserved. So yeah. Now we cut to... See you guys back in lane. Now that we're back in lane, look at the wave. It's slow pushing towards me. I'm going to set up a barrel and I'm going to look for a freeze. First thing I want to do is thin the wave. Why? Because if I thin the wave, it means that Darius can't uh, ever walk up. Look at him. He's trying to recall, but he can't recall. He doesn't know what to do. He has to walk up if he wants XP, right? It's just so, it's such a hard scenario for him, and I'm just going to keep holding the wave here. If he ever tries to break the freeze, I'll kill him. If Shaco tries to come, I'm so far ahead and I have Ignite, but I can just kill him. I'm thinking, of, I'm already thinking 40 seconds ahead. <clears throat> not five seconds, not five steps. I'm thinking 40 seconds ahead of time, a minute in advance on I'm thinking about how, after I kill him, I can maybe even uh, push the wave in. Ooh. I actually meant to barrel there. Darius used his E, so I know he's just dead. Beautiful. I saw him, I think, use his W or his E on the Rengar, and I know it has a pretty decently long cooldown. So we just get the kill for free. Got the cannon minion. Of oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Good kill. Because I kill Ivern, he's not even there to save the Rengar. Ooh, Shaco is here. Well, this might look scary to a lot of people. But, don't be afraid. Because they're dead every time. 
Now, even this Darius might look crazy. It might look crazy scary to all of you. But you don't have to be afraid. You'll just win it every time as long as you have confidence. Ready? He missed his E. Phew. Another one. Dead. It's just a matter of playing smart. That's it. You recognize certain opportunities and you go win every game. You want compliments like how I'm getting now right now by the by the other team? You gotta play smart. You wanna be called a smurf by everyone? You wanna climb ranks? All you gotta do. This three hours to diamond I feel like is necessary because so many people make fundamental mistakes on Gangplank who I coach and who I see on Reddit and who I see uh, in, sh in some streams honestly as well. Some of my friends, you know, they just suck. And they suck for no reason. So this is hopefully closing that gap so that you can find more success in your games. Good. Bring the wave up a little bit. I know he's dead. Why? I have Triforce. I have an entire item. And what does he have? 600 gold. He starts the game off with 500 gold. In 8 minutes, he's gotten 600 gold. In 8 minutes, I've gotten 4k gold. All through playing smart. That's it. Nothing else. More, nothing less. Just playing smart. No crazy barrel combo. Just recognizing strengths and playing to those strengths. And every single one of you who are watching this video can do the same thing that I'm doing. That him so far ahead, I can just shove the wave under his tower. I'm balling to see if it's ultable. Very nice, they got a kill with my ulti. Now I get the top lane tower. There he still has go, so I might have to be a little careful. I have my ignite up. Let me take Gromp to heal up a little bit, and then I'll take Harold. Because Gromp does heal you, I believe, a great amount of health, like half your health or something. <clears throat> now you might be asking what are you going to do with that herald first things first i'm going to go mid lane i'm going to dominate it then i'll use this herald bot lane probably am i going to dominate mid lane i'm going to lane with my luck you might not like it but i'm going to get everything they ever owned i'm going to steal everything they ever had And usually when you're this far ahead like me, people won't ever question you. Instead of saying, yo, get out of my lane, they'll be begging you to come to their lane. They'll say, yo, can you share the love, man? Come top lane. Come, come mid lane. Come bot lane. Come to the jungle, man. Jungle with me. I, help me. I want to I wanna be like you, you know? I'll cue this and then recall. Yeah, nothing crazy. We're playing normal. Playing smart. <clears throat> That's all it is. Now we go bot lane. Now we go bot lane, and now we're gonna use this Herald bot lane. What are they gonna do about it? Nothing. They're gonna do nothing about it, they're just gonna cry.
Nice job. I'm gonna go for another tower. See that? In 12 minutes, I've won my own lane and got 15 plates by myself. I got all 5 plates top lane by myself. I got all 5 plates mid lane by myself. I got 3 plates bot lane by myself with the Herald as well. Even if Zaya and Senna weren't there, I got it. Now I'm going to go back top lane right now. I'm going to keep on pushing. And we're going to our next power spike is level 13. Once we hit level 13, we're ready to dominate. I have a later smite here. Yeah, there. Oh jeez, that is quite the silver 1v1 that you don't see every day. Level 12 at, at 13 minutes, uh, the enemy top laner is level 8. But we're doing pretty good for ourselves. Serpent's Fang to stop that Ivern Shields from ever doing anything. Also, if they build Eclipse on any of their members, I will please leave. You may be asking, is this build for carrying? Well, refer to my previous videos and you'll have my answer to it. Place a ward there so I can see if anybody comes. I won't take level 13, it'll just be GG. Yeah, not doing anything crazy at all. Everyone can do this. Everyone who's watching my video can do this. Just a matter of applying it. Now they might come top lane and try to kill me, but I will... Uh, I could ego it right now, or I could win normally. I think uh, of those two options. Pretty sure he's here. Because I saw him when I hit the barrel on him. I mean he's doing this for Rengar. Looks like the rest of their team has actually just gone AFK. Pretty sure that's the real one. That's the real one, brother. Nice try. But yeah, look at that. The enemy team has already gone AFK. And do it every game. Every game. All you have to do is play smart. That's it. Nothing crazy. Rengar is just completely gone at this point.
GG. Playing in silver now because I'm gonna teach or sorry, gold. Because I'm gonna teach you guys now how to carry in gold. We went through silver, now we're in gold, next will be platinum. Now here's what I notice a lot in gold. People start to have a good, decent grasp of the game. They have some mechanics, right? Their brain is nowhere near complete functioning. All they know are basically some fundamentals of League. They don't really know how to play the game though. So how can you counter this? Expand your own lead. Look to win other roles, not just your own role. And look to close out games based around objectives. For example, play to soul if you can. If your team is ahead, say, hey, let's communicate with them. Let's do soul. Let's do this. Because all of these things are very tiny details that add up to get you a win. And that help you climb at the end of the day. Now, Gragas top lane is a very uninteractive matchup. But I'm going to teach you guys how to abuse how simple and how uninteractive this champion can be. And this can help you climb out of gold. If you follow these tips. Gragas starts Q, it looks like. I was seeing if he started E or Q. Zoning him off the wave right now. What I want to do is bring jungle attention towards me. When possible. Once my health goes down a little bit, my mana's at half. That's when I bring out the uh, the corrupting potion. Right now, I'm looking for either a cheetah recall or to go for a ward. It's completely up to you when you do it. However, since I know Gragas didn't leash, I know that Kha'Zix is topside. So I might try and go fight him. I might try. Ooh. I did not need to take that poke there. That was unnecessary of me. And by the way, this video is purely for educational purposes. I don't... <laughs> trust me, I don't like playing in gold, to believe it or not. I actually prefer to play in challenger, so... Yeah. Just like that. Now we're trying to help TF win his lane. Hey, good job, bro. Oh, he didn't even kill him. Now go for him, go for him, go for him. Let's go, man. And you know why this all happens? Because of top gap. Literally none of this happened. Oh. <laughs> oh, literally all of that happens because of top gap. I'm gonna TP back top lane. I messed that up really, really hard, by the way. I shouldn't die. If I don't die, it's GG. Kha'Zix can't play the game. But I'm a little troll, and I'm a little rat, so of course I end up dying. Look, he's gonna fight me, but I know my champion. I know my champion better. We're healing up pretty healthy. I think he dies here. Maybe not. Huge. I took the fight that I knew I could win, and we got a kill. This is what I mean. It's pushing a lead early. So many low elo players don't do this. They don't try and go for a lead. They try to they try to go like, uh, I'm gonna kill this guy 1v1, and if I don't, well, then we FF the game. Like, that's so trash, man. You have to play smart. And by playing smart, you're able to get those leads, those 1v1 kills, those 1v2s. The way you're able to do that is by dominating, by dominating early. 
by knowing what to do early game sorry that i think that's a better way of putting it say okay i want to push and then i want to go look for the jungler or i want to recall jungler um jungler's pathing towards me maybe i can go fight him if he's a weak jungler jungler is pathing towards me and it's like a lease let's get the hell out of here and recall making those decisions so yeah just to reiterate the, if the jungler is pathing towards you and it's like a weak jungler then you could fight him you know I got it, don't worry. You see what I mean? It's making these right decisions, but also setting yourself up. Like right there, I had a plan in my head. I save my orange for after the body slam and then I can kill everyone. But you see, everything I did early game, I'm getting camped as a result now. Everything I did, I'm getting camped now. But that's good because they're not putting pressure on the bot side of the map. So now my bot lane is winning. Why? Because nobody can interrupt them. I think I should die. I think. Uh, maybe not. Jin's heal just came up. And now I'm going to slow push and do the same thing. Look for a recall or look for a kill. I don't want to die to Kha'Zix or TF roaming, so I'm just going to go help my jungler with this scuttle crab. I think we can still do something here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm trolling. Oh, that's really bad of me, actually. I trolled that. And you gotta remember that bot lane is still getting a lead. Why? Because their jungler's camping top. Why? Because their jungler's pissed. Why? Because I invaded him top lane at his red buff. And he has not mentally recovered since then. like that Tides of dead herald my return Now I'm going to look for a play or two one I'll maybe push one more wave and then I'll take a reset. Because my TP's up in 30 and I'm gonna use it for top lane, I think. Don't get comfortable Unless he. Hmm. If he doesn't push this wave, then I guess I could just. Ooh! Let's go. Another. Huge. Ear to ear. I lose out on a big wave top lane, but I help my entire team out. <laughs> which is way more worth it. Uh oh. <laughs> Morgana took it. Let's go.
Only took one tower shot. Oh. <laughs> Peace, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw it. That guy literally teleported. Look, he's mad. Look at this, guys. Like, do you guys understand the point that I'm trying to make? Look how easy this game looks when you make a few right decisions. You know, I don't need a one part. I don't need a triple barrel combo. I just need to play smart. That's it. Play smart and the game is m ten times easier. Mm. Maybe I could have let them do that actually. And then came in afterwards. I don't think Todd can be here. I trolled it. No, I trolled again, dude. I'll TP top. I want Kyle to fight me. Fight me, Kha'Zix. Let's go. Baron's up in a minute.
Hang them from the slaughter docks. Take a reset now. Boom, boom, My and boom. Let's go. You guys see how easy this is? I entered the last 10 minutes of the game. But because I outperformed the first 10 minutes, I got jungle a lead, I got my mid a lead, which he threw away, and I got my bot a lead because jungler and mid never ever went bot lane. They never went bot lane. Why? Because they were busy with me. That's why. But yeah, that's how you guys carry. That's one example. One game. How's it going, everyone? What the heck? No. OBS, don't die on me. Oh, it's alive. How's it going, everyone? I'm Slumbrook. We just made another video this time. We were playing Gangplank in the top lane in Goldilo. I just ran a freaking marathon, but we're back here. So if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below. We're going to see you next. Subscribe. And I'm taking you guys. This is part two or part one, depending on where it's edited and put, of how to climb to diamond. This time we are playing in gold elo and uh yeah should be a banger so like i said before just to reiterate mistakes made in gold are people know how to play the game but they don't know they know how what their champions do and they know what other champions do but they don't know how to play the game so what does that mean they don't know how to play around objectives they don't know how to respect other champions limitations they only know their own champion and they don't know how to work as a team so I'm gonna try and um, against all odds bring everyone together. So again, if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below. What do you see next? Subscribe and uh, yeah, let's do it. First things first, I'm looking for a ward because Warwick likes to gank early versus any early uh, gank junglers. I do like to go for that ward. Ranger, no! Hey, get away from there! Get away from the bird! Step one, get your dog away from the bird. What is that, man? Go for Q with grass. Another Q. Anytime he walks up, I'm gonna punish him. I have grasp up soon. Don't let him get close though. Toss him to the shark. Can't let this guy get close to me. Beautiful. He's 1 HP early, this early on. Very good for me. Gonna start pinging this guy. Set went W start it looks like. Warwick could easily be topside right now. You see the way he this guy is walking towards me? It tells me that Warwick I think is topside. So I do have to play a little bit respect. But I'm just gonna play in my wave. And if I play in my wave, I shouldn't really have to fear anything. You see the way he walks? It's like he has his jungler here. Which he does. I mean, I still trade one for one. Just get double crab. And I get to kill the set for free. There we go. Nice and calculated when we get the kill. Everyone pays. My 
Just to make sure I can hold the wave here. Just gotta respect when he goes up for trades or anything of that nature. We can kill this guy though. I'm gonna ping him for my jungler. Because my jungler could be here. He's, my jungler is a little bit tilted, but it's fine. Ooh, he's trolling. <gasps> I'm trolling harder, though. We got him, though. Beautiful. Nocturne does not want to help me push it for some reason. But I don't think it matters that much. Oh, it does matter. Nocturne was too slow to push, so I'm actually in a bad spot right now. Now that we're back in lane, we want to continue to create a big lead for ourselves. And the way that we're going to do this is uh, try and beat the jungler in. So, jungler is bot side, so we're going to play super aggro because we know this. guy's playing way too far up. I gotta bully him. I gotta continue to bully him. Every time he just oversteps like that. My kill. Let's go. No, dude. Ah, oh, that sucks. Nice. Good job. Let me move my microphone a little bit. It's blocking my mini map. I almost didn't get that kill on Tristana because I couldn't see my mini map. I just been playing without it this whole time. Now we can get a plate. We can get two plates, actually, because I have a big wave. But you guys see how much attention we're, ga we're gathering from their mid laner and their jungler? This is really, really huge because it forces them... It forces my bot lane to have some breathing room. Like, if they're making mistakes or anything of that nature. I almost have Triforce. I should not have orange that. I mean, if anything, that death kind of shows, like, even when you're behind, I guess, we can show how to come back from a deficit. So I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. However, I do think someone's top lane. If you look at the way the set's moving, he's clicking his cursor towards us, not away. Now, why would he be doing that? It's because he has somebody near. I don't know where this person is, but... Only one tower shot. Nice. York could be here. Or Warwick, I mean. I don't... Mm, I'm pretty sure he has ulti. Nobody pinged his ulti and he hadn't shown on the map. So if I flash, I think he ultis on me. Next item I'm gonna go is gonna be either Kempunk. Ooh, Kempunk into Serpent's Fang. Because the Serpent Swing will stop the Tristana if she goes Shield Bow, but if she doesn't go Shield Bow, it's still really good. 
I'm gonna even TP top lane here. I just gotta keep applying this pressure that I've been applying all game. Huge. Clean, 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 clean. We're creating a huge lead for ourselves in our bot lane. Look, because they just keep focusing top lane over and over, my bot lane actually has so much breathing room. So much breathing room. And I also have my second item already. Next thing I want to do is actually take this Herald. Because if I take the Herald, I can get mid plates. It's all about snowballing and creating a lead now. Huge. Huge, nice. My Q was on cooldown, but we still get it. Nice. Nice. We're getting a really big lead for our team by doing this over and over. Honey fruit. Bro, my dog keeps trying to eat the bird poop, bro. What is happening? This has been nothing but a zoo filled video. What the heck? Regardless though, we're still chilling. I'm gonna hit level 12 here at 15 minutes. Really good timing. And I'm super close to my item. Really close to my uh, Serpent's thing that is. There we go, I got my ult upgrade and I have Serpent's Fang. I think it's fine if we give this dragon if I get mid tower. Not bad. I cued her one time and she left. You see that? I got top tower, I brought someone top lane, I ulted. We're making really good use of everything we have. Yeah. And now we're going to be level 13 at 17 minutes as well. Really good timing. A reckoning approaches. I hit him. I almost had it. No, I'm griefing. Oh, I don't know about that one. It's 
That's fine. I respect it. That's what kills set as well. Nice. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. So far, we've gotten so many towers, dude. So many. I hope they send Galio... Galio top. <laughs> Excuse me. Galio top. Comfortable in my absence. Uh-oh. No, dude. The whole crew. Even though I'm trolling now, or it looks like I'm trolling, everything that I still said earlier on still holds. Everything I did early on was the reason why my bot lane was not 0 and 10. Because they were allowed to breathe because their jungler was just bot side permanently. Or the jungle, my their uh their jungler was topside permanently. Yep. We can try it right now, and turn with Zillionar. Or Nokar. No, hit the, hit this man. How do you place this? How close is he? Nice! Now we do Baron. Wait, wait, wait. guys, we can just do Baron. Ah, I gotta help him out. Wow, that guy was in there too. Good job team and now we just end through mid lane we can end through two lanes mid and bot or mid and top but the main thing is we want everyone grouped together so that there's less of a chance that people die Do it, baby. Oh, his art just came up. You guys see that though? Serpent's Fang plus Mortal Reminder? Jesus. Go, go! ITP. Hey, no problem, man. I have TP. Oh no. Run! Run for your life! Tristana's on red. You saw the way she pathed? She's on it right now. Or she wants it, I mean.
We can end now. GG. GG, that's how you do it. Mic intro in five, four, three, two, one. How's it going, everyone? I'm still bringing me to another video. This time is the finale. This is the finale of the How to Climb to Diamond. Brought to you by Solar Baka Industry. So if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next. Subscribe and uh, yeah might be wondering well why are you doing this you know you might be wondering why i'm throwing the game oh 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 oh, oh, oh. let's see if he goes on me here i take trade Okay, maybe I don't take trade. Wow, this is the worst scenario I could have actually asked for. Wait, this is the wait, this is the worst scenario. Wait, this is the worst timeline. Nah, I got a recall, man. He just has to E auto ignite me and I die. Problem, Wukong? He flashed and ignited. We take it. He somehow RNG'd a, a pushing wave into him, despite him walking in front of my minion. So, uh, yeah. That's awesome. Leave me alone, you asshole. And by the way, yeah, I took ignite because usually all these players, they always take ignite, man. It's just so annoying. They always take ignite because they were like... I can't win normally, so I'm like, you know what? Fine. I'll just, I'll still stomp you. And I'll take Ignite too. Alright, you wanna play like a bad person? I'm gonna play like a bad person. Now nobody gets to have fun. You see what you did? Right now I'm slow pushing the wave so that I can poke him when it crashes. I don't care if Kane shows up at the moment. Oh, that's the worst trade in the world, dude. What? So bad of me. Actually, so bad of me. I could be at full HP right now if I played right. It's fine though. We're still winning. Boom. 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 You see, it did actually end up being worth it. Because now watch this. Because of Future's Market, because of how broken this rune is, I'm going to place a ward right here to make sure I don't get lane ganked or something by the cane. And I can actually buy a sheen. Look at the gold difference in items, by the way. If you look at the gold difference in items, I'm actually up 450 despite him getting first blood. That's because of Future's Market and, uh, yeah, just bullying the hell out of him. It's really annoying that when freaking Wukong E's, you can't do anything about it. I, I'm gonna break something, bro. Holy moly. I'm gonna break something. I actually did that, dude. Are you kidding me right now? I hit the freaking air.
Nice ignite, bro. There we go. But oh my gosh, dude, I trolled it. I need flashes on me. It's not worth my flash. Alright, let's not mess things up horribly again. It would be so awesome if I play like a human being. I'm, yo, I'm gonna break something again, dude. I misclicked again. This is actually painful, man. I really need to stop. Oh my gosh. I misclick again, dude. No way. No way I ever misclick again, right? It's so embarrassing. Oh. God. Alright, now that we're back in lane, okay, dude, I'm gonna tilt off the face of the freaking planet if I keep misclicking, dude. Uh, I'm actually, like, playing well, too. I just misclick after misclick after misclick. There's nothing more tilting than, than misclicking, in my opinion. I'm gonna go kill him right now, though, in one combo. Oh, I forgot, when Wukong E's on you, he becomes untargetable. So I can't even hit him with an auto attack to time that. That's what makes this matchup super frustrating too at times. I probably should have pinged my Rengar to dive top lane. Honestly. I have to play this super smart. Oh, actually, that's huge. Nice. My vengeance will be bloody. Yeah, I'm done with that. Nice, I got the double buffs. Huge. Alright, time to crack this Wukong skull. Come on, show me the money. Got his ass. And you know why I got him? Because of double buffs. You know why I got it? Because I outskilled them on the other side of the map and I pressed R. You! Wait, why is Rengar typing? He was the one who was calling for the dive. That's 100% his fault. He's saying, you took two tower shots. Yeah, but he's playing Yumi. I don't think you know how the champion works. Well, I still have these doubles. I want to make plays happen. Close to my Triforce. 464. It's like two waves off or something like that. We're still doing pretty good for ourselves. Bit of a ping spike quickly, but all is well. I like how this Wukong also went Bramble Vest because he's so tilted. Uh, when he plays versus his uh, gangplank. He just gets super mad. And now look at his wave. He can't even play the game. And I'm super close to my Triforce. Their tears I just continue. Hold freeze. It equals GG. Look. What can Wukong do? He's tilted. That's all. Only tilt. Bye bye Wukong. He's about to fight me right now, so I gotta make sure I'm ready. He has 33 CS. 
Ah, there he is. He just wanted to get out of the lane, that's all. Oh, they're swapping. Okay. We'll see how that works after I get my Triforce. Okay, we're doing pretty huge things for ourselves at the moment. I can get all of the mid tower currently. Oh, hello, Mr. Wukong. Goodbye, Mr. Wukong. You will be missed. I don't want crab because if I get crab, I get level 12. He said, what was my damage? I don't think he realizes that my barrel hit her as well. No! Tell me I at least kill him. I don't even kill this guy, what? I thought we had someone near, but they were invading. My bad, I guess. All right, we're back. So basically the only reason I get Thorn Mail is because they're heavy AD slash auto attackers and uh, we could pretty much abuse them. Also, I'm going to be going Ravenous Hydra. I don't think Kempunk has value if I'm going this build, so I'm just going to go Hydra and then after that go Serpent or I can go Serpent and then Hydra. One of those will work. And I'm just going to keep on splitting. I feel like this Rengar sucks. He said, how are we struggling so hard? But he got, he literally just got caught out for no reason. Never trust like he's the one who's struggling. The guy's gonna go through the wall. What do you want me to ult, brother? This time. Okay, maybe that time. Well, that's gonna face strike eventually. So I'm just gonna sit in the bush and wait for the perfect opportunity to strike. It's a three-man barrel. Looking very nice. Actually, I'll play it.
I pretty much outplayed it, honestly. Maybe not, actually. Maybe it does give him good stats. I think it gives him, like, 20 haste or something. I guess nobody else has it. It's just me and Ezreal. And what else does Yumi really build? I'd probably build, like, a Mikhail's or something. This guy really think he followed? They changed that like two years. I mean, they're all dead here though. You kill me, congrats, but your entire team is not dead. Okay, so there's no ulti. Literally, I die, but at what cost? This Wukong is still tilted. He has 60 farm. I've triple his farm. This guy's a diamond player. Wow, Wukong's double knockup is really balanced, guys. Keep that in the game. That's so healthy for the game. They can't, man. They can't. Kaisa's dead. Pistols are blades. No matter to me. Anything we can do it. Hello team, can we, can we fucking do something? Asin Yumi. GG. The enemy top laner just tilted into oblivion. Mike intro in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How's it going everyone? I'm Slurbrang bringing you guys another video. This time we are playing some Gangplank in the top lane currently. And uh, yeah, we're playing some Gangplank in the top lane currently. And as of the right, as of the moment right now, this is the final video on uh, Gangplank to uh, the Diamond. So if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next, subscribe, and uh, yeah, this is the final part. Let's wrap it up. Let me show you guys how to beat Diamond and also get the Diamond because I believe there's some Diamond players in this game. Believe it or not. And also some platinum, so. 
Nice little mixture, playing versus a Wukong with Ignite. Gonna go Ward here. Both of the camps at the same time, run back to my lane. Mercy sank with my ship. Got him. Well, Wukong tried to kill me, but unfortunately for him, I actually uh, recognize what my champion does. So, I'm actually able to sneak a kill on him with uh, pretty much no issues. Huge. No of Evelyn's doing blue buff right now, it appears. Although I did not see her show on the map. Actually, no, it doesn't even see blue, ba blue buff in general, that ward. Because I actually did it a little bit far off. I'm going to recall TP in the third wave. Betrayal stings like salt. A bit of before the hell. Wait, what is this? She actually did that? She did the red sided to that? I mean, I'm going to TP. She can't get any of her camps. That's such a dumb gank by her. Now she's going to be locked out of every single camp that she does. I'm not going to let her get any single camp. Such a bad play by Evelyn. On my way, on my way, on my way. Dad! Please stop running! We win. Good job. My Zed was literally running this way. I don't know why he was running. He wasn't even getting auto autoed. Just auto, brother. They used all CDs on me and Udir. Everything. An auto is diff between me living or dying there. Mm. I mean, it's still overall good for me though, because if you look at the wave state, it's so bad for this Evelyn. Or so bad for this Wukong. He has 2 CS at 4 minutes. Uh, Nautilus has already outfarmed him. At least he should soon. Got to be a little bit careful. It actually sucks that that uh, worked out for the jungler, for the Evelyn. Because that really shouldn't have. Yup. I probably could have killed him honestly, but uh, I was a little bit slow to react. Mm. Feed them their fingers. I gotta make sure this Wukong is as useless as possible. I don't know if I should bust out the crit build for this game. They have Electrocute Jinx, which is super interesting. I've actually never seen that before, so... Some never-before-seen tech in your last game to Diamond, I guess. Well, top gap will be immense. I could have placed a better barrel there to stop him from getting that cannon without losing all of his health. We're fine though. Huge kid kill for the Zed. Huge, huge kill for him. He's on edge right now.
beautiful. Wukong has 6 CS currently. Beautiful. Oh, Evelyn is actually level 6 right now. Now that we're back in lane, Evelyn is actually level 6 and has a Medjai's first item. Super unusual, but uh, you know what? Well, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Maybe it could be worse? Is mercy in Bilgewater. Damn it, dude. She really flashes for that? That's... That's annoying. That's really annoying that she flashes. I mean, I probably agreed it a little bit and I should have backed up. But I didn't think that she would be thinking that's worth it. Because we have a freaking Zed, a Fed Zed, and we have a Nocturne. Like, now any time that she, they go on Evelyn, she just dies. Okay, perfect. A reckoning approaches. Kill this guy. Where's my Zed? Bro! Zed! What are you doing, bro? Bro? Zed? Who is he chasing? The Abyss? Bro. Bro, that's such a bad play from that dude. What is wrong with him, bro? He went for the Udyr who has 10,000 MS. And this Evelyn's like even, oh, dude, it hurts my brain. She has all six camps up and she's going for that top play. I mean, this Wukong's trolling the game though, he's 20, 20 farm. Dude, he literally autos from Africa. Oh, nice. Is he gonna fight me? No. This guy could easily be top lane at any point. I mean, I kill him, whatever. go it's gonna be up to me to kill Evelyn I think me or Zed Evelyn's really fed right now. Everyone pays. 
I'm thinking about whether I should go Bruiser GP or Crit versus this Evelyn. Because it's going to be me versus Evelyn pretty much this entire game. Hmm. If it's me versus Evelyn. Of course, Udyr is here, by the way. Like, why wouldn't he be? Such a bad player. Like, it's actually so insane. Like, I'm low-key molding, but it's because nobody's playing the game. They're all kind of playing, like, uh, I wonder how useless I can be, or something. You know what I mean? For games like this, I'll have to bust out the crit. Okay, he flushed. I'll take it. I'm probably gonna need to buy a Mar for sure. Hang them from the slaughter dogs. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to buy a Mar. Hmm. I'll just sit on no magic mantle for now, but maybe I go one of these. Maybe I go abyssal force of nature. This. I don't know, because this other item's trash. I might just go spirit visage. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I just decided. I'll probably end up going Spirit Visit. What? How am I not hitting my barrel any single one of these times? By the way. He didn't even kill her. I rarely forget. Oh, that's so annoying, man. Can I catch her? Oh, dude. Anything we can do to kill this Evelyn, dude. She's worth 1k gold and she has Magi's. Huge. Wait, guys, just do it. Mercy hey, just do it. What the hell? They just sent two people mid lane. What is this macro? Two mid, one dead. Okay, then drag it out. No way, man. Oh, uh, but like we're not even dragging it out. Dude, these players need lessons, man. 
because they are not good at the game. Oh my gosh. What? It's a bad call after bad call after bad call, dude. Uh, I don't know if there's much we can do about that situation bot lane. Yeah, like, I don't know, man. So hard to do anything. I can't even walk. Hmm. Take 20 minute Baron, Jesus Christ, dude. I think we'll be able to catch them though. This is part of the spots where gangplank shines best. Is when the enemy team is forced to shove. Because this is usually when a lot of people grief. And they greed for so many kills for no reason. Um, I think versus that team... I need armor pen. I might go LDR IE or LDR into... Hmm. If Evelyn shows me for sure fight. Oh wait, can we, can we just kill? Okay. I just need a shield though. Like one shield. Like, I literally just need one. <laughs> I just need one shield, like, early on, and I can, like, run away because I get the movement speed from passive and karma shield. I mean, good for Zed, but, like, I don't know. Yeah, IDK. Nice try. So if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below what type of content you want to see next. Subscribe and uh, yeah, out of here.